Well, that was a um, barrel of laughs. So, um, I'm not quite sure if the same people will come on my live. I had to whiz off because my doggy's got the trots. Nice, I know. So, I was sharing my journey. I'm not going to say it all again, but because um, I'll probably put the other live on, the recording of it on anyway. So, I'm at that point where I'm like, anyway, I'm just going to crack on with my art, really. And so, there we go. Hi, nice to see you. And da, 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 da. Anyway, nobody there, which is great. Da, da, da. Well, not great. So, hi, if you're just hopping on, I, I was doing live before and I had to go because my dog has got the trots. <laughs> like, you really needed to know that, I know, but do you know what, I was just right, you know, like, right in the middle of doing a live and I was like, oh, fudge got to go anyway I'm an artist and I'm just sharing my story and my journey and I'll probably put the recording on of the first live that I did so you'll know where I'm at and so I'm writing my first book anyway and I'm sharing my journey because I've never done it before duh, duh, duh. and so I'm just sharing the process that people don't see which is trust and faith and I'd hopped on the phone to my daughter, who's quite a geek with a computer. Wonderful. And she's quite arty herself, actually. Uh, although she doesn't do a lot of it because she's, you know, a mummy. And um, she's quite kindly offered to do something on the computer for me. So I've done the pictures. I'm on with my last one. It's a children's book. So it's probably going to be aimed about three to seven year old and it's about the seven main chakras of our body and you'll be like kids won't understand that that's the whole point i'm going to do it in a fun way where each chakra represents a little creature and then they have this little dialogue la 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 and there we go and then once it gets to the end is the, the main character is oh sorry i heard myself then is a rooster and it's feeling a bit blue so at the beginning of it it's a bit blue and then when it gets to the end and all the chakras are open gets to the crown chakra it turns into a rainbow rooster and then i was like oh my days i've never done this before and i said it's like walking because i am that person i get overwhelmed because i'm creative it's just what i do and all i'm getting right now i'm learning to just take one step in front of the other in front of the other over over it's a good job i don't drink because you'd accuse me of it i'm only kidding i don't um and so i'm like just one step in front of the other and it's like a walk if you don't know where you're going that's all you can do and that takes the overwhelm away i know it's not rocket science to work that out but you know it's only till you start doing a process of something that you've never done before because i haven't and um that you realise that you've got to trust, trust and have faith in what you're doing. And this is the point I'm working on that at the moment, trust and faith. And really trust and faith starts with you to trust yourself more and have faith in your abilities. Whatever it is you do, doesn't matter. It's like when you go to gym first time, you're like, fudge that. Do you know what I mean? I don't particularly like exercise and I'll be honest with you. However, slightly deviating, I love walking. And that will have taken my dogs out. So, let's get at it. I'm on with my last picture, visual picture. And I've never done this before, but all I was getting was following my heart, my own intuition to do the visuals and the story will come. I got this a couple of years ago. So, oh, my daughter now sent me a message. I bet she's done it already. Wow, it's amazing. And um, anyway, da da da. I think I've got to put the light on. I'll put the light on. You're right, sweetie pie. I'm talking to my girly. Da, da, da. So there we go. Right, I'll stick my glasses on. And I'll probably have a chit chat while I'm doing this. I'm using these. I'm not selling, by the way. I'm just sharing the high pigments. I thought I'd try these out. The Montmartre, apparently. 
and they're actually really good pin i'm quite quite pleased with them and they're I don't know what the fuss is about, actually. People say, oh, watercolours are really difficult to use and da-da-da and everything else. And I don't feel it is. Da -da -da. I think I need that colour. Unless that colour's going to be a bit... I've got a... No, no. Mm, maybe. A bit of tissue. I don't know if that one or that one. Yeah, maybe go for that. Maybe it's a bit watery. I'm using, like, watercolour paper as well. Kind of gets a bit this way, I get quiet. <laughs> Joy. So whatever it is you're doing, just keep following your heart. And I was saying on my first little bit of dish before I had to quickly go out and take my doggy out, that um, I can't remember what I'm going to say now. <laughs> gonna say I do that I forget what I'm gonna say I honestly cannot remember a single word I was going to say I think that came from Alice in Wonderland which is a totally different subject matter but however I realize that this kind of life is very opposite way around it is a bit like Alice in Wonderland I had a few realisations the other day, it might sound totally bonkers to most, but um, if you've done quite a bit of healing, da da da, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. That is, I came to realise that when you're asleep, you're awake, and when you're awake, you're asleep. Does that make sense? And our whole purpose is to fully awake while we're awake. Does that make sense? See, told you, sounds a bit weird. It's a bit of a conundrum. Conundrum. And my stomach sounds like a velociraptor because it's clearing. <laughs> it's clearing. It's clearing. Do you know what? I and the, I also had a realization that I was slipping back into, you know, the old version of me, of not being my true self when I was out on my first live. And when I say that, I don't mean I wasn't being my true self. What I mean is. It's so easy to slip back into, you know, the old version of you because we're constantly growing. And I realised that, oh, there's a hair there. Oh, nice hair. That um, just keep being me because that's all you can be. Do you know what I mean? What I mean, like. You think life kind of what's the way I'm looking for so when you beginnings of life you kind of when you're a little kid and you're your true self and da 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 life happens and then you feel like you're having to put the blinkers on stoppages on you know for the sake of others you know, you don't offend them and stuff like that and everything else. And then you get to a point where you're just like, I've done so much healing and stuff. And that's what it's all about. It's about coming back, not coming back, going forward, but coming back to your true, true essence and true self and just being you and, and, and embracing all of you. Do you know what I mean? Which has taken quite a while because I've had a lot of stuff to break down. And my biggest thing was being on camera. I don't know why, because uh, I've done lots of videos and lives and things like that on my other platforms. And so my universe is like, no, we're going to throw you off again if you're not careful. So I was like, okay then, alrighty then, alrighty. And share my lovely heart, my heart vibration. And apparently it is in good vibration. It is in good vibration. Da, 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 good word. I, I have I had that song this morning given to me. So I know when I'm in good vibration because that, that song comes up. I'm like da, 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 da. Oh, good vibration. Anyway, we'll leave it to that. Mm -hmm. I'll put my other singing voice on another time. 